Okay. The gill with the long red. And that's what he's gonna do. Brad want a match here, so he'll be hoping he can win a couple of frames at least. We know how good he is. Eight. That's a nice angle Nine. on black. To play for these two reds into the left corner. Sixteen. Seventeen. It's highest break, 144. Four. Never had a maximum. 24. 25. Well, he's got the angle to go into them, but he's still got one more loose red that he can play for. It's not a good pack to go into from the black. Oh, but he took the opportunity to go into them, but. 25. He'll be so disappointed with that shot. And the thing is that O'Sullivan knows now that if he can punish him here, this will hurt because this is an unforced error. What? In 25 years as a professional, Ronnie O'Sullivan, it's 24 years since he won his first ranking title. 80. UK Championship 1993, a few days before he turned 18. No. Well, he's actually overdone that screw shot. But the red just below the pink will go. 16. 17. Well, he can play for numerous reds here. And this one in the middle of the cluster, this is one that opens things up. 24. Took the harder red. 25. He's just overdone it again a little bit, but still, numerous reds can play for. And I like the way that he plays for a couple of 30, reds. 32. 33. 39. Doesn't 40. need that safe red on the left side cushion. 46. 47. 54. 55. And things just happen so quickly. Well, he's checking the scoreboard. He needs red and black. 61. 62. <laughs> Gill, of course, 69. missed the black opening the reds and it proved to be a Seven. big big error 77. played for the double 77 Ronnie O'Sullivan Ronnie has very O'Sullivan swiftly 77. made 77 to once again punish and he's already halfway towards the place in the final tomorrow Well, he could be in trouble again here. Head on the cushion behind the yellow. The red is on, but nowhere to get to a colour. Well, he was digging down into the cue ball there. Seventy two. And where's that red going? Wow. Whoa. I'd like that red not to have gone in. Unless the yellow goes in, of course. Great shot. Great. And great bottle as well to take it on. Well, he's on the black, but this is tough. Four. Getting the cue ball out for another red is even tougher. That's a super shot. At that speed into the corner pocket. Eleven. Incredible shot. Oh, he's missed it. After that terrific shot again. with the black. Eleven. And this is what he's been doing. One. Another unforced error. Right, so Sullivan in. Eight. Nine. Needs so Sullivan to do him a favour now. Sixteen. And not punish him. 
70. Well, we're in time, certainly. Let's go into the interval 4 0 down would uh, feel like a, a mountain to climb when they return. Did we want the flick on the yellow there? And that's took 20. him out of ideal position. Another good oh, recovery shot. shot. Twenty-six. Well, he keeps getting them, and now he's ideal on the black to go into the reds. This is really awkward queuing. 34. It looks like he's got to bounce the cue ball off the cushion as well. Good. Wasn't easy. Daniel Sullivan, 34. He's having a little chunter there as he went back to his seat. Could have left something easier than this, though. Uh, I think he got a kick there. Takes it on, try and leave the cue ball close to the cushion. No. Nope. And again, a good kiss on the red. This red is still on to the middle, but it would have been a lot easier. Uh, good pop, but not a good kiss. Anthony McGill, one. Well, he took the red on, but he tried to cover the red by using the yellow and brown, but hasn't quite paid off. And what? again, not a good kiss. He's trying to come round the back of that red, which up on the blue. Anthony Miguel, one. Now has he found a plant? Right in the middle. Great shot. Not on the colour, but in control. Anthony McGill, one. Good shot. He's considering taking that pot on, but it's very risky if he misses it. He could leave that red on. That's a great shot again from McGill. Uh, he's got tremendous bottle, this young man. 3-0 down and taking those kind of shots on. Well, if he wins this match tonight, this is where it starts, with that pot. Six. We may well, who knows, look back on that in a couple of hours' time. Seven. It's the longest frame so far, this one. Fourteen. Just over 20 minutes. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. So the yellow is the only difficult ball. Twenty-five. And it's not really difficult. Twenty-six. 
Well, I played for the green, and that's not the ideal position. I thought he would have played for the blue there, because from the blue, he's guaranteed to be on the yellow. You know, it's a little bit heavy. 30. So this isn't straightforward. 10 points the difference, so yellow, green, and brown. Oh, he so just crept in. And he's played a delightful cannon to the green. This is a great effort. 35. Ronnie O'Sullivan now needs a sneaker. This is a great effort. Just what McGill needed going to the interval. Yes, I did say that this time of frame suited 44. McGill. Quite a bit of safety in the game. And then knocked in a good red. 50. And showing great character. That's more like it from Scotland. Anthony McGill is Ronnie O'Sullivan then three frames away from a place in the final. He's leading Anthony McGill by three frames to one. Didn't want that kiss on the green, obviously. So an early chance in this frame for O'Sullivan. Now the problem here for O'Sullivan is the cue ball could be going into the red next to the black. That's why he's taking the other red on. Oh, what, what can you say? Terrific stun run through. Look at the cue ball here. Just runs through nicely for the black or pink. Eight. Nine. I'm going to be careful here because he could get the cover if, if he plays a gentle cannon. And this is the kind of shot that he really does like. Sixteen. Potting the red to the right corner, opening the reds up. Seventeen. Didn't quite open as he intended. Just brought the one red out. And again, that was... Twenty-three. Another good shot. He wasn't directly behind the pink. Twenty-four. Again, give himself a chance of two or three reds 31. the way he played the shot. 32. 39. 40. No need to go into the reds. He can win the frame with the loose ones. 47. 48. So these three loose reds would be enough to leave his opponent needing snookers. 55. 56. 61. 62. Short on the blue so he can get to the red. 67. one snooker at the moment. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. And this genius of the snooker table. Ninety-six. This ball for the century. Ninety-seven. What a great break. And they loved that one, didn't they?
105. McGill made that great clearance in the fourth frame pre-interval, but that barely got a look in in this frame. Yeah, he played a safety shot and got the full ball kiss on the green. And Ronnie O'Sullivan knocked that one in. 170. Yes, what he's done is raised his game. 121. To the level really he's been producing consistently this week. 126. Dr. Steve Peters was here earlier in the week as well. Oh, what a way to get to the black. Left-handed. What a shot. What a break. What a man. 139. Total clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan to reassert his authority in this semi-final. He's two away from a meeting with Karen Wilson tomorrow. And um, he's left a red into the pocket. And look where the cue ball is. Just short of the bulk line, nicely on a bulk colour. Just come a little too far for this red. But as the one to the middle, may have to come through two cushions for the black. Five. Played it well. Now he could go into them here, just screw off them slightly for this red into the pocket. Twelve. That's developed another one. Thirteen. Twenty. Well, she has to play up for the blue to go into the reds. There's no doubt about that. And he's on one. And the reds have split nicely. 27. 34. Give those 35. reds a little nudge. Not too much because the two reds go to the left corner. Oh, he's missed the black. Sullivan, he can't believe that. He's kicking himself. Well, that really is a lifeline for McGill. And he knows it. He knows he's handed a lifeline. Turning points in matches. Happened. So if he can finish just off straight, One. this red to the left corner, he'd be able to stun in behind the black to get the black back on its spot as soon as possible. Six. Seven. Couldn't have played it any better. He got absolutely perfectly on the red. Well, it's an unexpected 14. chance, but there's pressure on these, clearly. Fifteen. Kiss on the blue could have been kinder. Could have finished up on the blue into the middle. He's missed it. Anthony McGill. He's 15. missed it and he's left reds on. One. He's just a little bit upset because he's not closer to the black. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Well, that's two good chances, Ronnie O'Sullivan. This is just what Tim McGill needed, a let-off. One. Again, another switch to left-handed. Eight. Could have done without the kiss. Nine. Sixteen. 
24. 25. Won't need the difficult blue. 32. Thirty-three. Well, this started because O'Sullivan missed and his reaction was interesting as well. Forty-two. McGill, as I say, needs this and it's four-two. Forty-five. A frame that brought the great Ronnie O'Sullivan to his knees. Forty-nine. Anthony McGill, so, O'Sullivan concedes front. McGill has done what he has to do. O'Sullivan still two from a place in the final, leading now by four frames to two. Finished up nice. Slight raise of the hand. Wow. What can you say about that one? That's a terrific shot. Now, does he have the angle on the yellow to come back down for the reds? That's a nice angle. Good pot. And force that cue ball through the gap. Three. He wants to take the red that's closest to the black spot. Because if he can get to the black, get it back on its spot. This is the red that's important. Four. That frees the black spot area. Eleven. Twelve. 19, 20, 27, 28, 30. Well, the red has run safe, fortunately for McGill. Wait for it. A little flick off the red. What a fluke. Oh, just crept in. Seven. <laughs> it's not quite as close as he thinks. Eight. Yes, and a wise decision to play up for the pink. Difficult this. 14. Back to the black. And played it well. Look at that for a shot. So, Anthony McGill, he's got the bit between 22. his teeth. He knows he's well and truly back in this match. 23. Just one more red needed. Yeah, it's looking like a big fluke for Anthony McGill to get in. 30. But crucially, of course, he stayed in. 31. And barring snookers, there's only going to be one frame in it. 38. He's showing great belief here, to Anthony McGill. 45. 46. 
54. Sixty one. And another 62. little switch to left handed. Sixty eight. Seventy. Seventy three. Seventy seven. Anthony McGill's ice break of the evening. Started with a fluke, he made the Anthony most McGill's of it. He's made 77, and there is only one frame in what has become a very exciting match now. Karen Wilson, perhaps watching, certainly waiting tomorrow. Gonna go at this red. Digging down into the cue ball. And what a great shot. What a great shot that was. Played that very well. Coming around the two cushions for this red into the right corner. But the Five. stakes have been raised definitely by McGill taking the last two frames. Oh, he's got the cover. Twelve. Spider. Calling for the spider. Now oh, this is awkward. Manuel Sullivan, 13. Not the best safety shot. Cue ball should have been closer to the cushion. What about that for a pot? Wow. That's showing no fear whatsoever of Ronnie O'Sullivan. Cue ball's close. Oh, that could be a big one. mistake. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 7. Yeah, it's a bit of pressure on O'Sullivan now. One. He doesn't want to go behind the blue. Don't think he's on the black. He is on the pink. That's more difficult. Oh, yes, he can see the black. So it's just choice now. Full stretch to the pink. Not quite the angle he wants on the black. Nine. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah, he's got the angle to go into them. He's still got two reds he could play for. I don't think he's on anything. And he knows he can't afford to leave McGill anything because he's going to go for it. Just proved that the last time round. Running off Sullivan, 22. Good safety. <laughs> he went for the pot. And he wasn't very far away from it. He's taking the game to O'Sullivan at the moment. I know he's behind in this frame, behind in the match, but as professional snooker players, we know that um, the feelings that the players are going on. And we know that O'Sullivan is under pressure. Caught the red much too thick and very fortunate not to have made contact with one of the reds there, O'Sullivan. 
And he's going to be going for this, McGill. And you can't Whoa. see him missing. And the only thing that could come to O'Sullivan's rescue now is the brown. This is what's left Ronnie slightly rattled. It's the fact that McGill is going for them. And of course, he's he's, exactly, he's getting them. Nine. And he's not used to that, David. He's not used to the game being taken to him. Will the Brown come to save him? Fourteen. Fifteen. Maybe the red next to the pink. Twenty. Well, if he takes high colours, he may not need the brown. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Now, we play a little cannon here to the red and pink. If he catches the red, he definitely be on a red to the right corner. And he'll settle for that. Developing the red. Thirty-seven. So he's taking the blue. He can be twenty-two in front with twenty-two on here. Forty-two. Takes blacks with the two reds. I think he may have miscounted there, you know, because he could have played for the pink. Forty-three. Remember, I'm up here. Fifty. Just over screwed that one. Right in the middle. Thank you. So now he needs 51. the brown by playing for the blue. And he's the wrong side of the blue slightly. I think he could have played for the black there. So maybe he has miscounted. The green is in a good spot though to be able to get the brown off the cushion. 56. Needs to leave himself a half ball shot on the green. Nothing for being straight here. 58. And that looks okay. All on the shot then. Deep breaths. 61. Nicely played. 61. And the race potting. Fancying for this. Anthony McGill is really showing us what he's made of here. But he's missed the brown. Has he? Oh. He's missed the brown. After all that hard work, got it out. Off the cushion. And O'Sullivan sprints to the table, needing the four colours. What a moment this is. Incredible. So, left-handed. Oh! That only just dropped. Four. But he's finished perfect on the blue. Oh, he did all that work to get down to the brown. He got the brown out. <coughs> just needed it. And that was 4-4. Four, four. Nine. What a let off, and he knows it. He'll be kicking himself. Fifteen. And now he needs the black to land a real blow here. What drama. <laughs> And what a steal in the end for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Anthony McGill was throwing everything at him, just needed the brown to level the match. O'Sullivan has cleared and he leads 5 3. Mm. O'Sullivan could take this one on down the left side of the table, play for the black with some safety. Close, but he has hit it too hard. He's left the red on. 
So can McGill just clear his mind? Won't be easy. One. Will it go into the reds here? Decided to. Needs a bit of luck. And he got some. He's tied oh. the black up. Five. Could have done with a little bit more angle on this pink so it could go into the reds, screw into the reds. And that's why he needed more angle. Eleven. To be able to go into them with more power. He's taking the red on. And he's got it. Oh. And that would have cost him the match had that not gone in. What a great shot. It held its line all the way to the pocket, just. Well, it suggests he's thinking positively, certainly. He was hamper queuing. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-nine. Forty six, forty seven. Well, he could have played for one of the open reds. Fifty three, fifty four. This is how confident he's feeling. He's not safe yet. Sixty. Still on this red to the middle. Oh, struck that so well. Sixty-seven. Well, he said one of his greatest strengths was his temperament. And after watching this, I agree with him. Well, doesn't quite get into the reds, but he's done the damage here, and you can see he's ahead on pot success now. Skill. Ninety-four percent plays ninety-three. No trailing. I tell you what, that's a great break in the I circumstances. It must have been a real body blow to Mr. Brown in the previous frame, but he's dug deep. Ronnie O'Sullivan's 5-4. 54. So, again, not the best break-off. And again... He knocks that long red in, and he had to do because he was leaving that other red on by the middle pocket. He was Six. saying in his interview that he likes to be pushed, and he's being pushed. Five. Yes, of course, he's played Six. fewer tournaments this season than the other top players. He's played a lot of exhibitions, which he enjoys, but you don't get anywhere near the same pressure doing that as you do in match play. Choice of two reds, one to 13. the ball corner. Into the right corner. This one a lot tougher. Oh. Nicely done. And back in prime position. Twenty one. Twenty two. He might be able to open them up. 29. No, couldn't do it. 30. So it's on this shot. Now, if it can miss the red directly above the black, with a lot of whiz on the cue ball. Just like that. That was superb. 37. There's nobody better at doing that. 38. Would help if the pink goes into the middle. Forty-four. Forty-five. Well, Anthony McGill has broken off in this frame 
That's all he's done. That might be all he does. Fifty. Fifty. Well, he's left 51. the angle on the blue. And does the red go? Fifty-seven. And I don't think he can get to the black unless he plays a gentle little cannon. That's the gentle 57. little cannon I was talking about. That could have gone wrong. Sixty-four. Sixty-five. And it looks like it's over. Well, we talk about his character. Seventy-two. But oh, Sullivan, that's got bundles. Seventy-three. In it. And what he said in the interview is 80. quite correct. He likes to be pushed. Eighty-one. And he wants to raise his game when he is pushed. Well, it doesn't get better than this, does it? 88. 89. 96. 97. What a player he still is. Superb. And the crowd have thoroughly enjoyed this match. Yeah, he was pushed. But he responded here, just needed one chance, one visit, to kill it off. It'll be his 43rd World Ranking Event final, looking for his 29th title tomorrow. He's in six. 96. 97. 98. Thank you. Yes, he can be proud of himself. He's done so well this evening, Anthony McGill. 111. 115. 120. Yeah. And they're still going in. Tom McHugh, I'm sure, the greatest player ever. Ronnie O'Sullivan into another final. A 133 table points from his first chance in the last round. All points there. Brad Snipper, who played his final. Well, they're here this evening, but it's Ronnie O'Sullivan.